Hey guys, today I'll be showing you my Salmon Great deck profile to you guys for February 2019. And I'm so happy to bring you this deck profile, you guys. Um, yesterday I got my, my pre-order stuff, uh, my structure decks, and today everybody can have the structure decks to have the reprints and an amazing tier 1 deck to have so much fun with, a lot to mess around with, which is great. I'm happy, I te I've been testing it, been doing some retweaks, all that stuff from my different Salmon Great versions that I had with the original Salmon Great deck that I had and the other the, the other one with the Cybers deck. And this has been like, wow, um, a great difference and like, you know, things that I had to like lower down, which I got like in shock for myself. But yeah, I'm happy to show you this deck, deck guys. And... If you're gonna complain, don't compl um, complain what you want, but you can go to your locals, go to Walgreens or Walmart or whatever. If you see the structure, go buy it. Buy three, buy one, buy whatever. You're gonna love this deck. You're gonna love the Salmon Greats. I've been in love with the Salmon Greats since they came out. Love them, and they're just amazing, and they're just m so much fun. I, I love it because they're underestimating the sound uh, when I was using them pe Some people did underestimate them some people knew what they were and some people didn't know what the hey they were They can do but I did some great things with them, but I'll just stop talking and let's start with the deck profile shall we? Should have done that First off with the new one of the new cards. We had three Salmon great gazelles This is one of the new monsters that's so busted with the Salmon great space. It's so it has so many utilities because of its, of its level and its effect. And it reads: If a Salmon Great monster is sent to the graveyard, and this card is in your hand, you can special summon to the field. If if Salmon Great Gazelle was special or normal summon, you can send one Salmon Great card from your deck to the graveyard, which is great because a lot of this revolve into the graveyard. It's just amazing. Next, now nah, the next one is three Salmon Great Spinny. You can call them spiny, spinny, whatever. I don't care. Another great card. Uh, Aries, if um, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard, then target one Salmon Great monster you have you have control against 500 attack uh, for the for this uh, for the rest of this turn. If this card is in the graveyard and you control Salmon Great monster that was not spin spinning, you can special summon this card from from the graveyard to the field, but banish it when it leaves the field, which is great. But not because you don't want spinny banished. But obviously, I will show you why um, a ways that you can you know protect spinny from the banish. But these two are amazing cards together. They're a dynamic duo because of their levels, uh, their effects, and because of that. And you can go to rank threes, um, Dante and the new uh, Salmon Great XC monster, which is just for not they're just phenomenal, and it's just great. And, and overall. Uh, Next up are three copies of Salmon Great Foxy. Um, Foxy became more powerful because of the structure deck. Foxy effect is when this card is normal summon, you can spe um, you can um, excavate the top three cards of your deck. If there are among them a Salmon Great card, you can add them to your hand, shuffle the others back into your deck, which is great. Um, helps you bring out all the, any Salmon Great card that you need easily access. And if Foxy's in the graveyard, and there's a uh, spell tr spell tracker face up on the field, you can discard a Salmon Great card from your hand, special summon Foxy, and destroy that spell tracker card. Note to self, does not target, which is great. That's a plus. Next up, we're running one Jack Jaguar. Um, I'm amazed how one structure that can make Jack Jaguar more relevant and more powerful than ever before he wasn't powerful in when you know the, the first core of you know the salmon greats came out but now he is strong um his effect is if this monster uh if he um if he if this card battles a defense position monster it does piercing damage we don't need that it's the other effect which is great the great thing is if you control a salmon great link monster on the field and salmon great jack jaguar is in the graveyard you can you can shuffle one salmon great mo uh, uh, monster from your from your deck, uh, from your graveyard to your deck, and special summon him into one of the mar uh, one of the link markers, which is great. One of the your salmon great link monster, which is great because it means that you can recycle Spinny, Gazelle, Foxy, any of your monsters from the extra deck or whatever you want. Amazing, and it doesn't matter um, because he can just come back, which is great. You 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 can link summon him to the next or bring him back. 
Next up, one Solomon Gray Falco. Another great card. Um, it's sad that I had to play it at one. That's the thing. Um, uh, it hurt me so much because because um, I used to play this guy at three in the other Solomon, uh, my Solomon, my original Solomon Great and my Cyrus deck. But right now it hurts, but it works better like this at one. And Solomon Great Falco is now more important in this deck, and now he's more revolved because of Jack Jaguar's effect. Now, Aries, if this card is into the graveyard, you can target a Salmon Great Spell Tracker on your graveyard, set it on the field, and the other effect is you can you can target one Salmon Great Monster you have on the field, return it back to your hand, and special summon it onto the field. You can only use one of the uh, of the effects of Salmon Great Falco per turn. So, meaning if I did the graveyard effect, the one to bring to set set down a Spell Tracker, I can only use that one. I have to wait the next turn to use the effect of you know. Bring back a Salmon Great Monster from my hand and special summon him, or vice versa, whichever effect you need to use overall. Which is not, which is which is okay. I can understand that. That's why I play him at one. Um, the last Salmon Great Monster we're playing is one Salmon Great Meerkat. Meerkat, n nobody's playing him, but I play him because he is so essential that nobody knows about him. Because you can discard a sal you can discard one Salmon Great card from your hand, special summon him. If he's added to the hand, you can special summon. Him. People don't know, and I've seen this, that Meerkat can be the, the that special summon that you need for that Link 1 or for that Link 2 monster with Lady Debug, and nobody knows that. Okay, that that's that's insane that nobody sees this, and they just, you know, cut him out, Don't they don't put him, but just play him at 1, and you'll see that he's so essential. He is so essential because you can discard Spinny from your hand and special summon Meerkat and you can activate Spinny's effect and bring him out. Or any of the other Salmon Grades, you can you can activate more of their effects, even the spells, even the trap cards, which is nuts. And nobody sees that potential with Meerkat. I can understand that they're just only using these guys for stupid reasons with, you know, dangers or other things. I can understand that. There's their build. But my build, I see more potential with Meerkat. That's why I was sad to play him at one, because he's that powerful. Now for the non Salmon Great Monster, we're running two Lady D books. I don't have the third one. I haven't bought the third one, but I did have another option that can help me with Lady D book. I will order another one. Lady D book is gonna be helping you with so many of your common plays. Basically, when she's normal summon or special summon, you can add a level three or lower um, Cyrus monster from your hand, from your deck to your hand. Basically, Gazelle, Spinny. Foxy and uh, Meerkat, and which is great overall. And this is why people don't use uh, Meerkat because you know, activate Ladybug, Meerkat's effect. You add, when you add him, you can special summon him because it's just great, and nobody uses him. Now for the other mo uh, Cyrus monster, I'm playing, I'm playing one Widget Kit. Um, this is the the one who's replacing the third Lady Debug, but Widget Kit is actually way better than I thought. Because you can normal summon him, if you have Lady Debug on your hand, special summon Lady Debug, activate Lady Debug's effect, so you can find anyone, Meerkat, Foxy, Spinny, or Gazelle, it's just crazy. And you already have their three materials. Excuse me. Which you already have, already three materials in the field, and I don't see why people are not using these kinds of, you know, te techniques. I can understand they want to make you, um, not do anything. When um, if you're playing this, you're you you want, you don't want your opponent to do anything, but have fun with this thing. It's so much fun. That I'm having blast with these guys. Um, now the piece of resistance, three ash blossoms. Oh my God, is ash blossom? I don't have the cash. Stop whining. Stop whining and stop whining. There's the structure deck. It has a freaking common ass. You. Stinking mother fudgers. You can get your ashes. So stop whining. Stop begging. Stop crying. Stop saying things of that. You can have your ash blossom. We have now a free ash blossom. You can spend the 10 freaking dollars to get an ash blossom and get an amazing tier 1 structure deck. Don't be a baby. Don't whine. Don't cry about it, don't go angry, don't troll, don't do anything stupid. Or say things about that. You can get the best hand trap in the game by buying the stinking structure leg, which I love it. End of story. If you put some comments there, 
Fudge yourself. In that case, that's all the monsters we're playing. We're playing a total of 18 monsters. Yeah, 18 monsters, and this deck works phenomenal with 18 monsters. You can actually put more monsters. You can change a bunch of things. But overall, I love it like this. I just love it. And very unprofessionally, slowly taking them out of the camera. Perfect. Now for the spells. Now the spells are just... Wow. First off, we're playing the new one, which is Salomon Great Circle. Now this card is just amazing, and it's a quick play spell, which is just great. Now it reads: you can add one sal you can activate one of these effects. You can add one Salomon Great Monster, uh, Salomon Great Monster from your deck to your hand, which is great. A plus searcher. I will, you know, complain. And the other one is really interesting: that when you re uh, link reincarnate a Salomon Great. When you activate this, um, that Link reincarnate is unaffected by monster effects for that turn, which is wow, amazing to give to give um, the Link reincarnates an unaffect uh, an effect power. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is the three of event. Next up, we're playing two Salmon Great Sanctuaries. Um, oops, let me just switch that here. Two Salmon Great Sanctuaries. Now, people are playing this at one because, you know, they banish um, Balinx to protect it. But I think two is enough because if they Ash Blanche you the first one, you can use another Balinx or, 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 or Balinx or bait it out and you get the and you have the second Sanctuary. I think two Sanctuaries is good, um, in my opinion. If you want to play it at one, it's your choice. I prefer playing at two. It's your choice. Now, this is what it makes you to use the Link Reincarnation. You can use a Salomon Great Link monster that you control as the Link material, as the full Link material for another Salomon Great monster Link, which is great. Now, there's the other effect that is during the damage, uh, during the uh, during the damage calculations. If your monster battles, uh, if your monster battle, you can pay 1,000 life points. Make your Salomon Great Monster to zero attack, and the attack of that Salomon Great Monster that you, um, the the attack of the original Salomon Great Monster that you turn to zero, you gain the life points of that. So basically, there is a combo uh, to basically. Why are you going to be using that? But um, you know, making him zero attack and getting light. But well, basic, and you know, your your uh, Salomon Great might get destroyed. Well, you use Bay Links. Uh, well, you use one of the Salmon Greats that, that will protect them, and I will show you that later. So, true enough. And this is the one that I was, I was so sad to cut it up to two. This is one of my favorite cards of the Salmon Greats, and I had to cut it to two. I know people are going to run this might at one or just not run this, but I'm like in shock that people are not going to run this card. Just not run it or just run it to one. This is basically a soul charge a, um a free a uh, summoner monk in a way i don't know why people are cutting this because this is a a free summon a free plus one summon it's just mind-boggling basically during your main phase you can special summon one song great monster from your hand or graveyard i i've said this effect so many times and i love it i love it and people are just like they don't care, or they just don't know about it. And the other thing is, you if a, if a, if a Salmon Great Monster that was reincarnated, um, it, it was reincarnated. You can send this card from um from the field to the graveyard, target that Link Monster, and special in three Salmon Great um Salmon Great Monsters equal to the Link rating of that Salmon Great Link Monster from your hand or graveyard. You can special summon if I say he Leo. Meaning that I can special in three Salomon Great Monsters from my hand or graveyard, which is so great. Um, it's just amazing. It's a great continuous spell card, and people are just cutting in. Or just putting on wood. Which is sad. Now, the uh, now the, uh, now the non Salomon Great um, three ups is three Call by the Graves. What? Call by the Grave? Yes, we're playing Call by the Grave. This is not the budget version. This is my version, so shut the fudge up. You hear me? Three call by the graves because we don't want anybody to do some stupid things to us. We want to protect our Salomon Greats. You hear me? Uh, three War Legacy Secessions. A great card. I still love this card. I played it in my last Cybers deck, profile, uh, Cybers deck, and this this card just helps me so many times that I need that monster reborn or that special summon that I need. 
Um, basically, it's a Monster Reborn for free. You got two Monster Reborns. You got, basically, you have four Monster Reborns here. Four Monster Reborns, which is great. Uh, the other two ups I'm playing is two Twin Twisters, so we can destroy back row. Yes, back row is still an issue in this in this format. Back row against Alter um Alter guys. Um, uh, Sky Striker is still the best deck uh in the for uh the in this new format. Um, obviously uh obviously yeah, and you know things like that, and also Cold by the Grave against you know many other things. Now for the one ups, we're running one Fire Fusion. What Fire Fusion? Yes, Fire Fusion. This is actually, this is the fusion spell that you can use to fusion summon with your Salomon Greats. And here's a, I'm going to show you why I'm running this and also another card, why am I running it. And the other one is Super Poly. Here's the thing. The fusion has a gr great um, material uh, requ uh, requirements that this can help you do so many outs against your opponent because they have to link summon so many times. This is a big out. Um, that's why I'm running these two fusions and uh, these two fusions at one. Uh, I mean, you know, fusion fire at one. Obviously, super one is on one, but this card helps a lot with you know against my opponent's uh, link monsters. Next up, one foolish and the, and the last spell is one foolish barrel. Um, foolish barrel. When I first did the deck. I wasn't um, aware that I might not even have access to Jack Jaguar or Falco because Jack Jaguar and Falco will help you recycle things back to the great uh, from the graveyard to the deck or things for the field. So, adding the Foolish Barrel will help you so much to access with the Jack Jaguar and um, Falco. He had even thrown Sp Spinny from the from the deck to the graveyard if you didn't have the Gazelle. Pardon me, I had a little. Burp. Um, it helps you access again all those Salomon Great monsters there, even if you don't have them in your hand. If you don't have any of those Salomon Great uh, Gazelle, Spinny, Jack Jaguar, Falcon, or whatever, Foolish will help you access them again. So that's basically for the spells. Now for the trap cards. What trap cards? Yes, great trap cards. I gotta say, great trap cards. First off, we're running two Salomon Great Roar, baby. Um. The reason I ran two is that you're playing four copies basically for this card. It reads when a spell track card or a monster effect is activated, activated, hear that? And you control a Salomon Great Link monster, you can negate it and destroy it. This is another out against evenly match, which is great. It's evenly matched. It's still a side. It's, it's a side deck card, but overall it does the out. And one great thing is, if this card is in your graveyard and you do a Link Reincarnation at that in the same uh, that turn when this card is in the graveyard, you can set this card back to the field, but banish it when it leaves. But yeah, so that's why I'm playing this at two. And the great thing is that you can use Gazelle's effect to send this card to the graveyard. And if you send Falco to the graveyard, you can set this card back in the field, which is a great access again to that card. You don't have to wait to draw it. The last two I were playing two goes in matches because we're playing a lot of fire, baby. So we're gonna bring the heat. I know that sucked. I don't care. Bring the hate. And it's a great card. Um the only two monsters in the deck here are Lady Debug and Widgeka that are light and nerd. Forget you can send them in um to the graveyard. Doesn't matter because all you're using is fire monsters. And the last card we're playing is one Salomon Great Rage. Now this card is stupid and I can't believe it's a common um, and I love it now first effect is that you can send one summon great monster from the hand or the field to the graveyard tar uh, target a card on the field and the shot but that's not what we're using we're using the other effect so if you did link reincarnation and you activate this you can target that monster for every link rating that Salmon Grey Monster has, you can destroy cards on the field that and you don't have to and they don't target. This card doesn't target those destructions. That's why I love it. It's AoE baby. Three AoEs for free. I love this. I love this. But one of this is good because you're doing the reincarnation, but you need those reincarnations for other things, remember. Excuse me. You need those reincarnations to activate other effects, so that's why rage is more for that, for that help of destroying things in the uh, in the way. 
But what? But that's really uh, that's pretty much it for the main deck, guys. Um, yeah. Now for the actually, that's where the the cheat. That's where the good stuff is. Uh, I'm gonna do this very unprofessionally and just like smush them all in the way. Very unprofessionally, like taking them out of the stage. Bye. <laughs> oh god. Now for the extra deck. Now this is where it goes. It's gonna get interesting. First three copies of Solomon Grave Bailings. This card is just amazing and um. I love this artwork. Uh, obviously, this name was changed. It was Vinx. Then they turn turn it into Baylinx. I don't know why. It's uh, it's a cat. I think it um I think it's like a uh, Vinx was a god, uh, an Egyptian god name or something like that. I do not know why they changed the name. Baylinx is I know I don't know another name. He's a Link One Cyrus monster. It requires a level four or lower Cyrus monster, <coughs> meaning that you can use Widget Kid or Cyrus uh, Lady Debug. To use them as link materials. And it reads, if this card is Link Summon, you can add the Salamon Great Sanctuary from your deck to your hand, which is great. If the, and also the other effect is if a Salmon Great if a Salmon Great cards cards it has an S. It has an X. An S. Yes, an S. Yes, an S. Will be destroyed by battle by card effect. You can banish this instead. So basically it has a return of the Dragon Lord's effect. Just like just like that. Which is amazing. Next up, the the big guy, um, the main the main guy himself, Salomon Great Sunlight Wolf. Another amazing card. Love him. I am glad he's a rare. I'm just glad he's a rare. It reads: If a monster is normal summon or special summon to one of the zones that uh, Salomon Great Sunlight Wolf was uh, of his point points to, you can add one fire monster from your graveyard to the hand. So meaning that you can bring back, you can bring back. Your Ash Blossoms. You can bring back your Ash Blossoms even if you use if you use them already and you're like, oh where is it? You can bring them back. So meaning that you're running a shit a lot of copies of Ash Blossoms in your deck. In a figurative way. And that's really amazing. Um you can add that and but the thing is that you cannot activate its effects you cannot use its effect or its name the turn that you added that card to your hand. Which is okay because you're using that to your opponent's turn. Now, the other effect: if this card was Link reincarnated, you can um, Link reincarnated. You can add a Salmon Great Spell Track card from your graveyard to your hand. Another way to recycle any of your Spell and Track card Salmon Greats back to your hand, which is amazing. I love this. Three copies of Sunlight Wolf because this is another monster that you're reincarnated so many times. Now the other Salomon Gray monster that uh, uh, guy we're playing is two of the big guy himself, Salomon Gray He Leo. That artwork looks so good. I love that artwork. I love it. That to me is He Leo, not the other one that we got as a rare. That is He Leo, and I love him. Now his effects are the same. This is just an alternative art in ultra rare, which I love him. Try to get him overall. Hey, Reese, if this card is Link Summon, you can target a, a spell track card your opponent, a uh, spell track card in the spell track card zone, tar um, and s uh, bring it back to the f field, right? Yeah. My mistake. Yeah. It's a card. Yeah. Target a card your opponent controls from the spell track card zone, bring it back to the f to the hand. And if you heard, that was my, my, my tablet. <laughs> and the other effect is if this card is Link Reincarnated. Um, you can, one thing, the first effect is not once per turn. So you can do that again. So basically, if you re, li, Link reincarnate Salmon Great Helio, you get both of the effects again. Um, this, the other effect, again. So you do the effect, or bouncing back a spell or track card. The other effect is once per turn. It reads that you can target one monster your opponent controls, and a monster in your graveyard, and you make that monster of your opponent become the target of that other monster. So basically, if I choose Bailings as my target of the graveyard, that monster of my opponent has become a 500 attack monster for the rest of the turn, which is fu which is great, which is great because you never which is great meaning that you can target them and just make them weaker, which is uh, 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 which is great. Now for the other fire monster, we're running um, one of the waifus, um, uh, Hita. Hita. Um, she's basically a searcher. She's basically a uh, Chimera Doolittle, but she's just a waifu. Uh, but I know Chimera Doolittle is kind of weak, but she's a because she's a um, eight uh, one thousand eight hundred fifty monster. That's why people run her because she's a she's she's stronger than Chimera, and she's a searcher for um, 
all your Solomon Grey monsters. And no, you can't search um, Ash because it says 15, 15, uh, 1,500 of the fence to search it out. The other one is Nightmare Phoenix because he's a fire. A great combination with Phoenix is that you co link with Sunlight Wolf. Sunlight Wolf is protected by uh, by Sanctuary's effect, you know, if he becomes a zero attack monster. Also, Bay Lynx helps saving the other ones by banishing her in herself. Now, for the non fire links, we're running one updated jammer. Updated jammer is so annoying in this deck, man. Like, when this card is cold link, it's just stupid. Um, basically, during the damage calculation, or battle fa uh, yeah, during the damage calculation, all face up effects on the field of your opponents are negated, which is nuts. And it reads that when my monster is attacking another monster, if it it has to attack its original attack. So if if you gave it a boost or something, um, I have to attack him with his original attack, not with the boost attack. That's what I'm saying. And the other which and the other great effect is if you use this as a link material, that monster that you use it uh, that monster that you used it with a link material, that monster can attack again uh, a second time in the battle phase, which is great. And also if that mon if you destroy the monster, you Make your you inflict one thousand damage to your opponent, which is another great card. Uh, Transco one Transco talker. This is another great card that you can call in with Update Jammer or Sunlight Wolf. And it's stupid. Another stupid idea, which is great. So basically, so they cannot be destroyed by card effects. Now the only XC monsters you're playing are two copies of Salmon Great um, Mirage Stallion. Two copies of this is just great. Um, if you don't have on um, the tra the Nightmare Phoenix, the Transco Talker, or whatever, you can bump this up to three. You can bump this up to three. Whatever, you can bump this up to two. But Stallion is a searcher for all your Stallion. It's basically the X Saber Invoker of the Stallion Greats. You detach one material, especially on one Stallion Great monster from your deck in the fence position. You cannot activate any effects except for uh, any effects of, of monsters except for fire monsters. If you use um, uh, Mirage Stallion as a link material for a Salomon Grey, you can target one face-up card on the uh, monster on the field and bring it back to the hand, which is a another great card. And the last monster is one Salomon Grey Violent Chimera. This is the one monster that you'll be using with Super Polymerization. Now, what does this do? Um, it requires one Salomon Grey monster and one link monster. Does this say the ratio, the link ratio or anything? It just requires one link monster. So what does Chimera do? Which is why I'm running polymerization, uh, super polymerization, and fire fusion. Well, this card is stupidly good to end games. Basically, it, ga it gains attack equal to the original attack of half of the original attack of both of the monsters that you use as the materials, which is not, which is crazy. Now, when Chimera attacks a monster that is that its attack has changed, he gains double of his attack. Wow. And then there's the other effect if you use another Violent Chimera as the, the material for the Salomon Grey monster. When he attacks, that monster that you attack becomes zero of attack. Which is stupid. That's basically a big outing against big, uh, big monsters. Or just destroy the uh, the place, and you can see a pencil right there. I, I'm sorry for that. Or basically taking out the outings of link monsters that your opponent controls. Um, it's very few that I use the super pod because I use the other one, other monsters. That's why I run him at one. But overall, he's just tremendous. I'm lucky that he's a rare. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for the deck. I hope you enjoy this. I am very happy with this deck. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Just love it. Just love this and wait one second. So I want to thank, um, this is not a sponsor video. This is not anything I wish I was sponsored. I would like to thank, um, Game Heroes, um, for bringing me my Savage Borrow in time for one of my tournament, uh, in time. I'm so happy that I got this. Uh, I love this so much, and they just got it in a great, um, you know, 
a way of giving this really early. Um, I ordered this. A few, uh, I ordered this, and it came out really well, and it's just beautiful. The salvage board. I'm so happy. With it. So there's the contact information that you want. Uh, you can check them out on eBay, Amazon, Facebook, uh, TCG Player, whatever. This is their information. And one thing I love about this: this is a card. Oops, it's face down. This is a card. It says Game Hero Spirit Flying One One. This looks super cool. I love this. I want more of these. But yeah, uh, I, uh, thanks Games Heroes for my Savage Borlo. This is not a sponsored video. I'm just th thanking them for making this possible, for making, giving me my Savage Borlo so I can make my new side deck for the Salomon Greats. And yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this deck profile of my Salomon Great deck profile. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.